Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you all enjoyed your Thanksgiving. My name is Derek, and today I want to take a look at the passing of Mark Roth, who was a famous bowler, member of the Hall of Fame, a guy who really dominated the sport from the mid-70s into the late 80s, and his cranking style inspired a generation of bowlers to take up the sport within the past few decades. In this post, we'll talk about the numerology of his death, both how it connects to his birthday and the date he died. Now, before we get into the numbers, there's a couple of things worth pointing out. Mark Roth was so good that the Professional Bowlers Association, also known as the PBA, named their annual league MVP award after him. This award began being issued in 2014, and you'll notice the last two years was won by the same player, Wes Mallett. So we'll look at how his death connects to Wes's here. Mark Roth was also a member of the Jewish Sports Hall of Fame. And we'll look at how his death is aligned with the numerology of Israel as a result. To start off with the numbers... Notice Mark Roth's birthday, the 10th of April, 10 slash 4, as it's written internationally. Using the alphabetic order, the name Mark Roth has gematria of 104, just like his birthday. In the standard reduction method, his name sums to 41. One of the most notable facts about Mark Roth is that he was the first player to hit a 7-10 split on national television, which happened 41 years ago, in 1980. Of course, the date April 10th can be written 4-10 here in the United States, a lot like that 41. Wes Mallett, the current Mark Roth MVP award winner, intriguingly has exactly 41 perfect games to his credit. And again, that 7-10 split was hit 41 years ago, and 7-10 sums to 41, and 104, just like the name Mark Roth in that same cipher. When we talk about the sport of bowling, there should be one or two numbers associated with it that pop up in your head right away. I would imagine the first one is 10, as there's 10 pins in each lane. And each game of bowling is made up of 10 frames. So, of course, 10 times 10 is 100, and this is a big number to this whole event as well. First of all, we start with the governing body of professional bowling in the United States, the main one, which is the PBA. And notice how in our standard reduction, or Pythagorean method, PBA has a gematria value of 10. Again, 10-pin 10 bowling, the sport it governs. Mark Roth was born on the 10th day of the month. But on top of that, April 10th is the 100th day of a standard year. Again, 100 being 10 squared. Which is good, a good date for a professional bowler to be born on. Notice how professional bowler has a gematria value of 100 in the reverse reduction method. As I pointed out earlier, Mark Roth's name is used on the League MVP award, and the award has been given to Wes Mallett two years in a row. And notice how Wes Mallett, with his nickname included, has gematria of 100, Wesley Clint, Big Nasty Mallett. The team that Mallett has been bowling for is from Portland, and in the alphabetic order, Portland sums to 100. The other governing body of bowling in the United States is the USBC, which used to be headquartered in Milwaukee, and notice how Milwaukee also has that 100 value, again significant to the sport. The 100th prime number, a number divisible only by one and itself, is 541. On the date that Mark Roth died, 
The current Mark Roth Award winner, Wes Mallet, was exactly 541 months old. And as I mentioned earlier, Mark Roth was a Jewish man. And the flag of Israel has the Star of David. And the number 541 is what we call a star number, the 10th star number. And how appropriate, right? 10th star number. Here's a look at the list, by the way, on Wikipedia. You'll notice 541, number 10 on the list, appropriate for bowling. Israel's independence was declared on May 14th of 1948. That was the 135th day of a leap year. And now notice how Mark Roth has died 135 days before his next birthday. His cause of death was attributed to pneumonia, which sums to 135 in reverse. If we measure from Israel's date of independence to the birth of Mark Roth, notice how we get this span of 151 weeks and 5 days. Now, this number is pretty significant. I don't talk about it very often, but the number 1515 really stands out here. 1515 is the gematria of two very significant occult numbers. The first one being 13, using square numbers, alphabetic order with squares applied. And also 33 which is in the standard English extended method, 33 summing to 1515. And the numbers 13 and 33 are heavily coded into this man's career. Roth's reign of dom dominance lasted 13 seasons from 75 through 87, so 12 years but 13 seasons, during which he captured 33 titles. So 33 titles in 13 years. Mark Roth was born exactly... 1,333 weeks before current Mark Roth Award winner, Wes Mallet. Of course, the numbers 13 and 33 attributed with the capital G in our two capital letter ciphers. But what's curious about this is that the number 1330, or 3313, I should say, is another star number. You'll see it on this list, 33 and 13. And what stands out about this is that this is the 24th star number. Now, why is 24 so significant to this? Well, think about the sport of bowling and how it uses triangular numbers. So, because there's four rows of pins, there's 10 pins, right? Like PBA and 10, the fourth triangular number. <clears throat> the 24th triangular number is 300. And think about how a game of 300 is called a perfect game in bowling. The 300th prime number is 1987. And 1987 is the year during which Mark Roth's Reign of Terror over the sport ended. The 300th prime, how perfect. Furthermore, Mark Roth died exactly 33 weeks after his birthday, with the end date included, for yet another 33. This is also 231 days. And this brings us back to Wes Mallet, whose full name sums to 231 using the reverse alphabetic order. All right, everyone, thanks for popping in and checking the video out. Please feel free to share, like, subscribe, anything to help the algorithm. Peace, love, God bless, and we'll talk to you soon. See ya.